Why not? Well, Melo's just always been a professional. It's very upsetting at first, you know, not being able to come back and return last season, but. What's going on, guys? Dunk Man Yoshi です。というわけで今回はあのドワイトハワードがレイカーズに戻ってきたということで、彼がこの度会見で今回新しく帰ってきたウエストブロックやメロについて、そして移籍当時の心境など様々なことを話していたので、今回はこの辺を中心に見ていきたいと思います。そして自分の方から一つだけ言いたいことがあって、昨日の動画、日本女子バスケとアメリカ代表の試合についての動画で、ある一部分において惨敗という言葉を使ったんですが、これがどうやら何人かの方たちに不快感を与えてしまっていたよう。だから今回不快に感じられた方々本当に申し訳ありませんでした。もうこれは完全な言い訳なんですけど、自分は過去16年ぐらいアメリカに住んでて、こうやって自分が思っていた日本語のニュアンスが、全然違う感じで相手に伝わっていることも実は時折あって、そして自分としても日本代表をめちゃめちゃ応援してたんで、とてもショックだったんですけど、でも実際はこういうことがあるたびに勉強にもなりますし、今後はこの経験を活かして頑張っていきたいと思ってますので、温かい目で見守っていただけたら幸いです。それでは本題です。というわけで、この動画のメインは、ドワイト・ハワード。今回彼は1年ぶりにレイカーズに戻ってくることが決定したんですがなんとこの度彼の他にもウエストブルックカメラアンソニーウェイン・アーリントンマリック・モンクケント・ベイズもケンドリック・ナンそしてトレバー・リーザも新しくレイカーズに加入このオフシーズンにおいて一番補強に成功した球団といっても過言ではないと思うんですがドワイト・ハワードは今回の新しいチームメイトについてこのように話していました And、uh, I play with you know arguably、uh, the greatest player in the NBA Uh, with Kobe, now playing with LeBron and AD and Russ and Carmelo. It's like a dream, you know. So for me,、uh, you know, I'm super excited.、Uh, I love this city, you know.、Uh, I think that、uh, it fits me well.、Uh, and I'm just looking forward to being whatever I need to be for this team, you know,、uh, to win.、Uh, we've had experience winning together before myself, AD, and LeBron. Uh, so, I think、uh, we kind of have that chemistry. And then playing with uh, uh, Carmelo in the Olympics, I think it's just going to be really awesome for us. So, I'm just looking forward to just this whole year. You got Trevor, you know, we've been friends since we were 15 years old,、uh, played high school against each other, played on the same team twice, Orlando and、uh, Houston, and now here. And, uh, LA together. So、this is, this is amazing. とこのようにドワイトは話していましたが彼とアリーザがその昔からね知り合いということは自分全然知りませんでしただからこの辺はすでに仲がいいということでやっていきやすいと思いますしそれとカメラアンソニーともオリンピックの時に一緒にやってた経験があるとそしてもちろん彼が言ってたようにデブロンとアンソニー・ディビスとは1年前まで一緒にやっていたからその辺のケミストリーもまだ残ってるということでまあ今回の大物移籍選手でウエストブルックとはまだ1回もその同じチームでやった経験はなかったと思うんですけどオフェンスにおいてはね、特にそのアリウープの相性なんかにおいてはかなり合ってきそうな予感がしますそしてドワイト・ハワードは去年レイカーズで優勝してもちろんそのままこの球団に残るかと誰もが思っていましたっていうのはチームとしても彼はとても重要な役割を担っていてそして彼自身もレイカーズはもちろんロサンゼルスのことも大好きだったからそしてこのフリーエージェントの移籍が決まる直前彼は確かツイッターにレイカーズに残るみたいな投稿をしたんですけどなんとその後それが削除されてそのままシクサーズの移籍が決まったとだからそのレイカーズの再契約もかなり近かったと思うんですけどおそらく最後の最後何かがうまくいかなかったんだと思いますそしてドワイト・ハワードは当時の移籍についてこのように話していました、uh, well, I think last year is over with、um, I don't think I think for both parties it was disappointing to not be in the finals and win、uh, and never taking things too personal you know I know a lot of people were saying you know the Lakers shouldn't have did this last year this shouldn't have happened Uh, but it's always love. You know,、uh, we understand that it's a business, and, you know, it's very upsetting at first, you know, not being able to come back and return last season. But, you know, everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. And、uh, instead of getting upset and going crazy, I stayed positive and、uh, stayed happy. And look, I'm back here with the Lake Show. So. とドワイト・ハワードはこのように話していましたがこのハワードが少なくとも当時怒りを感じていたってことは何かしらその契約内容もしくはハワードの意思に反してこのシックサーズの移籍が決まっていたってことが分かりますよねでもまあ何はともあれ今回ドワイト・ハワードがレイカーズに戻ってくれて本当に自分としても嬉しいですそしてドワイト・ハワードはこれから新しいチームメイトになっていくカムラ・アスニーについてこのように話していました
Well, Melo's just always been a professional. He's always worked hard. He's always giving 110% on the court. And that's all you can ask, you know. There's the other side of basketball that, you know, people don't really see, and that's the business side. And, you know, some things are left out of our control. And the one thing that he's always been in control with is just how hard he works and, you know, what he does when he's training. And that's why he's been able to play uh, for 19 years. And it uh, just shows that his work ethic and his discipline and his sacrifice has always been there. And now to top it all off this year, hopefully at the end with a trophy. So I think uh, the hard work that Melo's putting in uh, from day one has uh, allowed him to play this many years in the league. But also he's been an inspiration to uh, millions of kids around the world about, you know, just working hard and not allowing, you know, people or anybody to pull you down. Because he has some, some tough years uh, where people, you know, make his statements about his career, his game, his ego and stuff like that. But instead of letting that change who he is as a person, you know, he just kept pushing forward. And uh, now he's where he's at. You know, you look at Russ, he has the most triple doubles in the NBA in history, you know. So why not? Like we said earlier, you know, why not win the championship? He's done everything else. Carmelo, one of the greatest scorers in the history of basketball, the second greatest scorer in Olympic history, only thing he doesn't have is that trophy. So I think he understands also it's all about sacrifice. And my first year here, you know, for me it was like you got to realize the way you don't just do what they ask you to do no matter how hard it may be at times. You know, everybody wants to score. Everybody wants to be the person to, to make the front page of the newspaper. But at the end of the day, you know, holding up that trophy and celebrating with your family and your city, and all the people that you love, it, it, it just means so much more. When you, when you experience that, you know, it's like, hey, this is what it takes. I'll do anything to get back to this moment. And I think all those guys uh, will, will feel that this year. とこのようにドワイト・ハードを話していましたがカイマル・アンソニーの方がドワイト・ハードよりも先輩なんですけどかなりこう先輩のメロのことをリスペクトしている感じが伝わってきたしそのオリンピックを除いては一緒のチームでやるのは今回が初めてなんでそういった意味でも2人のプレーが見れるのはとても楽しみですというわけで最後にハワードのウエストブルックについての話を聞いていきましょう Well we want to win and、uh, we know what Russ can provide for our team and why not let him do what he do That's what he does best. You know, I think everybody has to be a star in what they do best. You know, so I know for me, rebounding, playing defense, that's what I do best, and catching lobs. So that's all I got to focus on. Russ, he does everything. He passes, he scores, rebounds, and he's going to be the best at it. LeBron, he does everything. He's going to be the best at it. So we are going to be the best at what the coach is going to ask us to do. And that should lead to a trophy. But I think it'll work great. He's played with superstars before. You know, he's played with KD and James. He's played with、uh, Bradley b i l l He's played with so many superstars. So I don't think that'll be a problem for him. I think that,、uh, you know, he has been underappreciated. I think all of us really, you know, have been underappreciated. You know, but I know that we appreciate each other. We all appreciate what we each bring to the table、uh, for this team. You know, so I think you know, having a guy like Russ who's going to get you 15, 16, 20 points a night, he's going to get you 12 rebounds, he's going to get you 10 assists, and he's going to play 110% every night. How can you not appreciate that? Well, I'm going to tell you, I appreciate you, Russ, and we ain't even played on the same team yet or played a game together yet, but I appreciate what you do. And I think everyone in LA is going to appreciate it when you're holding up that trophy at the end of the season. Why not? There we go! Let's get it, y'all! とこのようにドワイト・ハードを話していましたがもちろんウエストブルックのバスケはかなりリスペクトしてるみたいですしおそらくですけど次のシーズンからハワードが試合中にウエストブルックに向かってワイナーツでやってる光景が今からでも想像できます皆さんは今回ハワードの話を聞いてどう思いましたかあなたの感想もコメント欄で教えてくださいそして今回も楽しんでもらえたらチャンネル登録と高評価お願いしますあえての感じで今回以上ですご視聴ありがとうございました